Okay, my friends, we're gonna start with our butterfly sitting on a flower. We're gonna use the sunflower because it's easy to make, I think, because it doesn't have that much hard work uh, with the petals. And the uh, sunflower petals are very simple. They look like little boats around a, a brown inside and where the seeds are growing. And uh, it's basically remind the uh, sun. That's where I get this name from. Uh, it looks like a uh, sunshine, right? So I'm gonna start with the flower first, and then I will put my butterfly on that. So my flower will be right in the middle, right over here, and uh, we're gonna make a circle first because that's what is gonna help us. To make it looks very symmetrical so first of all the circle and then i will create two parts from this flower and one is going to be number one that's number two and then i will divide them like a pizza for four pieces and that will help us to make our flower symmetrical so and then i will get another slice and another slice so it looks like a wheel, wheel of fortune. So, and then uh, in the middle, I will make another circle. And this is gonna be our circle for the brown part of the sunflower. And uh, this is gonna be our preparation for making the flower, the sunflower. So uh, basically, we're gonna start. This is gonna be the brown part, and this is gonna be our petals. So we start from the bottom and all, and then I will do the petals growing on these lines. That's gonna help us to create the symmetrical flower just like that and then I just need to uh, figure it out how many petals we can squeeze in between so I think two will be enough on each side if you need the uh, center for them you can make the center for them too anything helps what would make you feel more confident in drawing that same thing here. I'm doing two because that's kind of reasonable amount between the basic one, which is I did on the um, along the two sides of the line, the support line. And just like that, we're gonna finish our sunflower with petal. And then I will make the butterfly flying to uh, this flower over here. So, uh, and the butterfly will have this sym symmetry, which is we're gonna build right over here. So this is gonna be the central line. And then we're gonna start growing the wings for her and again if it's hard for you uh, to do from uh, beginning to the end from just uh, creating that you can do the same as we did with the flower so we can make two ovals here connected to the middle and two circles here and that's gonna help us to make a butterfly so basically these two circles will be like two apples on one side of of this symmetry line and then these ovals they're gonna have the different center they're gonna you can even uh, draw lines like that and that's gonna help you to um, create them on the right lining 
So, and then we're going to have the body of the butterfly here. Antennas. And oh, this is going to be our drawing for this work. And I can just uh, do also the few leaves for this sunflower right here. On a branch. And the uh, sunflowers usually have kind of big leaves. And they can be symmetrical too. So it is going to be another practice for you to do symmetrical subject to make the leaves. And they will be symmetrical. One side and another side will be symmetrical. So, and we can actually put some sun on this side. And for the sun, because sun is symmetrical too, we can create the same thing as we did for sunflower. Or we can make four segments for this, like a pizza. Or make four slices. That's going to help us to make sun round. So each side gonna have the right part of it. And all of them will make the sun as a circle. So now we're just gonna work with our sky first to make kind of nice background for our butterfly and sun, uh, sun and uh, sunflower. So I will use, first of all, I will use white, and then I will use blue, and this will help me to create the blue sky on my work. We're going to make the nice blue summer sky. your sky it's a background for your work as we usually do uh, because we don't want to leave the paper white because the white paper make your work unfinished so that's why I will use uh, the blue sky as the background for your composition and uh, blue will be until this spot uh, and then we're going to make the green grass. And if you remember this, the sky usually become lighter by the horizon. And um, I want to do it too in this one because we're trying to uh, make it light. So my light part on the sky will be right over here and the darker will be like, you know, usually above. But because it's a sunshine, we're going to make lighter sky by the sun. And a little bit darker by the top corner of our work, like we usually do. I recommend you to take the bigger brush for that, because this will help you finish that faster and concentrate on more beautiful parts, as the flower and butterfly. And you can finish later because you know that our acrylic colors they usually dry and become lighter so for the grass uh, we usually take the uh, blue and yellow to mix and this is gonna be very light grass
and the grass of course will be darker by on the bottom end of your work because it's become more intense in color closer to the sunflower almost like the emerald color more colder green with the leaves because usually sunflower has very light leaves the darker the green grass here the easier for us will uh, make the leaf, uh, uh, leaves of the sunflower and um, the color is almost finished so I need more green and we just leave it like this right now so I will use my uh, smaller brush for sunflower and for sunflower i will help do yellow color a little bit with orange because it's kind of more intense a yellow than just the yellow from the um, our container and just like that i will work on my petals be careful don't take too big brush because if you kind of mixed up with the petal uh, it's hard to uh, fix that because around it might be the blue and green and you don't want your yellow petals become green because that's what happens with the blue and yellow when they mix you get green color and just like that you just cover your um, sunflower with your petals and they has to be more yellow than just the yellow color from the container more orange because that's what the usually sunflowers look like i recommend you to google image of sunflower or look on the beautiful Van Gogh pictures of sunflowers. He did such a great job on uh, getting the right colors for them. And you have to mix very well the yellow and uh, red to uh, not get too red orange because it's easier to uh, get it too bright. When you do, don't like really uh, try to exchange it right away. Leave it and you can cover it later. And we almost finish with the flower. And then when we finish with the petals, we need some brown color. And the brown color we can actually get from the black and red like i told you before you can create that if you have it in a container that's good for you so you can use that but i have my orange here on black and i will show you right here so i will get the nice brown from this and this is going to be my color for the seeds part right here and this is our seeds part like that and then we just let it dry and the, my next part what i'm going to do i just kind of work on my leaves and my leaves will be very very light green 
very light green so i will use some white uh, and very light green will become look like a scissor salad this is the color very very light because i need that to be lighter than the grass And this is a little bit more yellow green leaves. And same color, pretty much the same color we can use for the other branch of this flower. And um, now I want to work a little bit on the sky uh, because I want to use uh, the smaller brush uh, for kind of uh, fixing the difference between the branches um, of the uh, petals of this flower and the empty spots for the sky. So I'll get my beautiful blue. color and they will be very careful on coloring between uh, this is a little bit hard but it's really rewarding because your flower will look much more better with the fixed borders of this flower with the sky and it's gonna look more professional of course it's because that will be more finished look and try to keep the shape of the petals because they looks like little boats the yellow boats so keep the shape of them when you're working on your sky and don't forget that uh, the uh, closer to the horizon the sky comes the lighter color you get for it because it's um, kind of more airy color and don't force it because when you force it you can spoil the color around and get more color on your petal and color this in green so give yourself enough time to fix that if it takes too long for you and you're tired just leave it work on something else like I always say don't just force it because you rip it and sometimes it's like I said before uh, when you get up and uh, look at your work from the distance it's kind of do the good job for you because then you can really see what you're doing because when you concentrate and you're working on particular spots in your work Sometimes you don't see the big picture and you need that. You need to see the big picture sometimes. And you can see that only when you actually stand up and have your work on the distance. Or like we did before with the um, still life. But here you don't have much uh, to compare with. But uh, from the distance you can see how you're doing on colors and how colors are connected to each other so that helps and i want also before it's uh, dry too much i want to get more darker color for the top so it's gonna make it a good contrast for uh, the bottom part on the sky and actually the darker blue will have a good contrast to sunflower because yellow and blue, um, they're not um, actually complementary colors, like blue and orange, but they still uh, kind of bright up each other because of the intensity of these colors. Uh, blue, it's deep and uh, dark, and, and yellow, it's so bright and white. So they still kind of look nice next to each other. Like that fish on our other lesson we did, the yellow fish, remember, was, looks really nice in the ocean. 
in the ocean was uh, blue. I kind of go around my butterfly at the same time right now. So clearing kind of the shape of that so then it will be easier for art. Just like that. And I will do like very light white color around the sky uh, where the sunshine is less like here. Because I want that to be too dark too. Since it's sun and we have to have some sunshine around it, and we will do it a little bit later. So this was too bright. And when you want to like light up a little bit your color, you can add a little bit of water. Basically use the same approach as the watercolor has. Because in watercolor you don't have light, you just make pieces of your work more translucent when you need to make them lighter. Which is hard. The white color make it easier, but not always works this way. So you can use the translucency too as well. So it's not prohibited for the acrylic colors. So this is our sky for now. Let it dry, and the butterfly, uh, which is I gonna use for this picture, not this one. Because this one we already did, I will kind of make the butterfly look like that. So it will be orange with black and polka dots. So uh, for that, I need a smaller brush, uh, which is will help you to create the right shape of this butterfly. And I need a nice orange color. And the orange will be the main color for this butterfly. And that's going to make a nice contrast with the sky orange color. The basic color will be orange. And we're gonna let it dry because then on the ends we can make the polka dots and the black um, kind of outlining on it. So since I already have this color, the uh, orange orange, um, we can all add a little bit yellow in that, and we can use this for our sunflower just to highlight that a little bit. And make the nice connection here by the brown seed part. Because they all go in uh, that part, we can um, basically just work around with the finishing of yellow part of it. And even make it a little bit darker, uh, kind of browny orange. Because that's going to be like a little shadow created by the leaves surrounding this brown part. Make it more natural. Just like that. And also with this a darker orange kind of color with the brown. Uh, we can um, make the drawing of the sunflower more active uh, in between of the uh, petals, like this. So because this um, kind of darker shade will create the nice contrast for your flower petals. And connect it to the brown better, so kind of will help to uh, get this 
flower looks more natural. You have to have the small brush for that. Uh, and kind of with the pointy ending so that helps you to not make a mistake and not over color the whole entire flower with this darker uh, orangey brown color and don't put too much of this color because you don't want to um, kind of highlight this too much so that your flower will lose the yellow color as well too so just a little bit too good is the enemy of good right so let's just stop in time and I also uh, want to finish the grass uh, because that will help us to uh, shape up a little bit our flower and for that I need some yellow for my green and to make green we get some blue in it right so that helps a lot and we still need more yellow yellow color so for the green light green color now with yellow right here uh -huh. so and this will be the nice green color for my grass and the grass actually will be made by horizontal strokes as the same as the sky because it's kind of big surface so we use the horizontal most of the horizontal strokes for that and that helps to shape up your flower also as working in the sky and the grass that helps to finish it And the darker it goes or closer to the bottom end it comes. It comes here uh, with the darker, more emerald color, cold green. And the leaves will be warmer. And I will use a little bit more yellow for the horizon part because uh, over there it's going to be lighter. If you want to make your work a little bit more advanced, you can add some more flowers on the side. It will be good practice for you. Just for the lesson, I don't want to make it too hard on you. But uh, if you think that you're ready for that, you can add some more flowers on the side and make another butterfly. So it's up to you. It will be more advanced composition. And uh, I'm just making the easier version just to make it more durable for everybody. And then I will use uh, the yellow color with um, slight slight white and the rest of that green I have here just like that the light light green scissor salad green and that's gonna be my colorful the leaves because sunflower has the light color for leaves my leaves and then I will wash my brush really really good or you can take another one but I will use that one because it still was 
very light color, easy to clean. And then I move my yellow with white because I will work on my sun now. Sunshine right over here. And this is very light yellow. And of course, uh, to make the sunshine like a light around sun, I will use the very, very light color like that. Almost white with a little bit of yellow. And I will just go gently around the sun with this color. Just to make some light from the sun it's supposed to show us don't overdo it just to get it good so it's uh, not our main task today we're just trying to create a nice composition but uh, the main point of course it's our symmetrical subject as the sunflower and the butterfly but sun has symmetry too but the lights around it's okay if you like don't do it very well it's okay don't like really spend too much time on it i also want to put a little bit lighter blue by the horizon right here and finish a little bit our sunflower just like that just organized a little bit same thing i want to uh, get a little bit more blue around the butterfly and shape up a little bit that too and uh, this look good so then I will use the very small brush with the pointy and for that dark highlight. So I will use black with brown just not to make it too dark. The brown will kind of make it more natural. And uh, this is to kind of create the shape for our butterfly. Don't forget that it has to be symmetrical. So even if it's hard to do, but still, just take your time. And uh, just like that, it's gonna be all uh, that uh, highlight for the butterfly created. And the body, body is actually black. So we're just going to use uh, for the body, we're going to use just a simple black. And same thing for antennas. Put your finger, like when you were drawing the new bird, put your finger on the blue sky to uh, make the antennas very gentle because you don't want them to be too fat. They're little tiny ones. And then uh, what we're going to do, we're going to put some white dots on it when it's dry. Uh, let's see what else we can do before we dry that uh, black color on it. So um, I don't know what we can do, but I guess we can work on sun a little bit. So just get some more volume in that and then it's gonna cover the our lining when we were working on the shape and uh, I guess that will help to make it a little bit more brighter yes. and you can raise um before you start painting you can raise extra lining if you don't like that to be showing when you're done with drawing on your painting so 
uh, because sometimes our colors are it doesn't really cover it so it's up to you if you really don't want them to be shown so just erase them when you're done with shape and i also want to highlight a little bit the sunflower uh, with the more fresh uh, yellow uh, and kind of light orange color and kind of fix a little bit the shape of the uh, petals of those flowers and like it's a little bit light, uh, lighter yellow so because some um, sunshine is kind of a highlight some petals so that will be the right thing to use some of them will be darker so and the uh, intensity of the color help to make it more unnatural basically all those the extra highlights of the yellow or the orange you get your sunflower more natural looking And this ended up uh, finishing the connection between the sky and petals. Just nice to finish that and make it look more natural. So, and I also want to make um, the seed spots uh, with a little bit of green inside. So, we're going to make like a dark green, dark, dark green. Uh, green with a little bit of black, so we'll make it a little bit darker. And we're just going to make like little dots uh, on this brown. It's kind of showing the seed spot. Uh, because seeds are growing in sun uh, and they kind of wait their time when they will be done but overall the color of this in a circle it's kind of brown but green it's present there too so and then we kind of uh, fi uh, finish that with brown again so it will make a um, nice contrast and uh, make it more alive so you get some life to that little middle part of them and also i will highlight the connection between the petals with a little bit of uh, light yellow brown just in the middle like, like that I did it before but for some reason it's not always stay uh, it's kind of disappearing uh, under the layers of color so I'm just highlight that again so because it's kind of in between of the connection of those petals it's create some uh, shadow spots and it become a little bit darker and the tips of the um, petals where well, they will be really light yellow uh, which is not going to do with uh, some very light yellow almost like for the sunshine just a little tips of the um, petals on the top of them uh, they kind of will be uh, light up by the sunshine so give them the nice shape So highlights can be lighter and highlights can be darker. So 
Então, dois vezes de dois. No plain with the lights, maybe. So, um, I kind of want to uh, a little bit work with uh, leaves of the uh, sunflowers just to give a little bit of shape to it. I will use my brown with that light green and I will use this as the kind of symmetrical part of these leaves uh, which is going to be on the middle and it's going to make some design on this leaf pretty much like a branches of the tree so same thing so we're going to have some design on it and also oh, we can kind of highlight the tip of it and same thing on the other one just a little bit just to make it more natural looking and now i will use my white just to highlight the butterflies um ending of uh, the wings same thing we're using the very very tiny brush and for this little I will use the white color on the uh, top of the brush and highlight the end of the butterfly wings with that white and I also use some uh, brown for some a design on the butterfly wing it's almost like a segment of the of leaves kind of the same concept just uh, some highlights of the brown on the top of the orange and uh, they're not like very symmetrical but they kind of have the same concept and i think that this will be enough otherwise we can like really overdo it easily just gonna use a little bit of blue between here too to highlight. And I guess for our task, which is we were um, putting in the front of us, that will be good enough. And I just want to show you what we were doing today. Uh, this was the symmetrical flower and butterfly in a field. You know, as I said. You guys can use few flowers if you want and few butterflies. Uh, and uh, I also uh, want to show you that I actually put two leaves on the side of this sunflower symmetrical way too. So the symmetry, it's kind of helpful for your composition. But don't overuse this because sometimes for composition, it's nice to have not very symmetrical things because that's make your composition looks uh, more professional and we will talk about this more in our future lessons thank you so much for watching and uh, don't forget to practice on your butterfly first uh, with that exercise uh, it has symmetrical wings among her body on one side and another side thank you for listening and watching me and see you next time